Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, we will talk about the new CSS feature, which is CSS anchor positioning. As you see on my screen, I prepared like kind of sketch on the CSS anchor positioning. And here in the middle, we have an anchor and after assigning a target or an element, which is relatively positioned to this anchor, we will have a kind of grid around this anchor element. And this grid is going to help us to position the element in an easy and effective way to achieve like a better design and a more readable code. Still new, so we can't judge it now. We need like more real-time scenarios in, in design to see how it's going to work. But it's really promising because it's going to reduce the amount of code uh, when you write CSS. Now, um, let's go to code to see how it's working. I created this kind of small um, web development environment. We have here um, an HTML page and we have here a CSS page. And inside the HTML page, I created two elements. These elements are the anchor and the target. They are separated from each other, so each element is independent. Now the task how to create the bond or the link between them. Now let's go to CSS. I have here other classes, other elements that are not that important because I created them just to center these two elements in the page to make it more clear and easy to understand for you. And here we have an anchor class, and inside this anchor class, we have an anchor name. And that's it. That's all what we need from our anchor element. We need just an anchor name, which we are going to use later on inside the target element. And the anchor name must be dashed. So this is the two dashes here at the beginning it's like when you create a custom css attribute you need to use two dashes and now let's move to the target and inside the target we need to give it a position absolute or fixed and then we need to name the anchor or to use the anchor name here with this css attribute which is position anchor and we have here my anchor now let's move to the third um, element, which is position area. And as I showed you already, we are going to use position area to place our element around the anchor. Um, we can change them. We can use like different logical values here inside this element. And there is a web page called anchor tool. And here you can see, you can position your element and copy the value. You can also uncheck this to see the element. So this is our element here, the question mark, and this is the positioned element. And we can turn off the logical properties and use other properties. So, and here these elements or these visual, um, icons are going to help you in understanding it. For example, this is going to be bottom, lock and Center, if we remove it, it's going to be bottom center. And if we use logical properties, it's going to be block and center. You can play with it and copy the value from it and then use them inside your page. For example, let's copy this and try to use it inside the page. Let me bring back a web page. It's not working because my page is not, um, I was checking the wrong page. So now it's working here on this page. And if you see the page is updating, I'm using live server to update the page whenever I save in my code editor. I'm going to use another value. Well, it's working. Our cat is meowing. I don't know what's wrong with her. So it's better maybe to sum up and to summarize and finish the video. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's promising and uh, it's going to help us to develop um, better designs in a better and effective way. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any question, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.